this single grain of sand is about to become more valuable than cocaine. Right now, 60 million tons of sand are being blasted out of the earth with explosives powerful enough to level city blocks. But here's what's insane. The sand in your iPhone screen survived temperatures hotter than the surface of Venus, toxic chemicals that can kill you in minutes, and a process so dangerous that one mistake could poison entire cities for decades. Most people think glass comes from melting sand, but that's like saying a Ferrari comes from melting metal. What I'm about to show you is the most explosive, toxic, and precisely engineered process on the planet. And there's one step so secretive, so dangerous, that the industry spent billions trying to hide it from you. Section 1. The Sand Hunt It all starts with a treasure hunt, but these aren't pirates looking for gold. They're geologists hunting for something far more valuable in 2024. Not all sand is created equal. The sand on your local beach? Completely useless. What they need is silica sand with 99.5% purity, and it's buried hundreds of feet underground in only a few places on Earth. The most prized deposits are in Illinois, Brazil, and parts of Australia. This isn't your typical mining operation. We're talking about geological formations that have been waiting millions of years for this moment. But here's where it gets interesting. Before a single grain is extracted, teams spend months analyzing the deposit. One impurity, just one crystal of the wrong mineral, and the entire batch becomes worthless. The testing process alone costs millions. Geologists drill core samples every few meters, analyzing the chemical composition with equipment that costs more than most people's houses. They're looking for that perfect sweet spot where nature created the purest silica deposits on the planet. Section 2. The Explosive Extraction When they find the perfect deposit, the real show begins. We're not talking about shovels and buckets here. Teams drill 11 meters into solid rock and pack it with ammonium nitrate mixed with fuel. Each charge weighs 60 kilograms. That's enough explosive power to level a small building. But the explosion is just the beginning. What happens next determines whether this sand will end up in your iPhone or in a construction site. After the dust settles, massive excavators move in. They're not just collecting sand, they're performing surgery on rock formations, separating the pure silica from worthless debris. In just one blast, they can extract thousands of tons, but this raw material is still nowhere near ready for glass production. The timing of these explosions is critical. They happen at dawn when atmospheric conditions are perfect, wind patterns are predictable, and the rock is at its most brittle temperature. One miscalculation and the entire deposit could be contaminated with debris from surrounding rock layers. Section 3. The Purification Gauntlet What looks like sand is actually contaminated with clay, organic matter, and metallic particles that would ruin any glass product, so it enters what I call the purification gauntlet. First stop, massive washing tanks where the sand is mixed with scalding hot water. High-pressure jets blast away impurities while the mixture is agitated for 15 minutes straight. Then comes the spiral separation system. Using centrifugal force, heavier particles are flung outward while the pure silica continues its journey. It's like a massive washing machine, but for sand. But they're not done yet. Powerful magnetic separators capture even microscopic iron particles. Why? Because a single speck of iron would create a dark spot in your glass that could ruin an entire smartphone screen. After drying in massive industrial ovens, this sand is finally pure enough for glass production. But the real magic hasn't even started yet. The drying process requires precise temperature control. Too hot and the sand particles can actually fuse together prematurely. Too cool and moisture remains trapped inside, which would cause explosive steam bubbles when the sand hits the furnace. It's a delicate balance that took decades to perfect. Section 4. The Furnace Inferno 
Welcome to industrial hell. These furnaces reach 1,650 degrees Celsius. That's 300 degrees hotter than molten lava. And they run 24-7, 365 days a year. But sand alone won't make glass. The secret recipe includes sodium carbonate to lower the melting point, calcium carbonate for strength, and here's the genius part, recycled glass from previous batches. Adding recycled glass doesn't just help the environment. It speeds up the melting process and saves massive amounts of energy. It's like adding a catalyst to a chemical reaction. After 24 hours in this inferno, something magical happens. The sand mixture transforms into liquid glass, a glowing, viscous mass that flows like honey, but burns like fire. But even at this stage, perfection isn't guaranteed. Workers use metal rakes to stir the molten glass, eliminating air bubbles that could ruin the final product. One bubble could make your car windshield shatter on impact. These furnaces consume enough energy to power a small city. The refractory bricks that line the walls cost $50,000 each and must be replaced every few years because even they can't withstand the constant extreme heat. The furnace operators work in 15-minute shifts because longer exposure to the radiant heat could cause serious health problems. Section 5. The Float Glass Revolution Here's where the real innovation happens. In 1959, Alistair Pilkington invented something that changed everything, the float glass process. The molten glass is poured onto a bath of liquid tin heated to 1,100 degrees Celsius. Because glass is lighter than tin, it floats perfectly, creating mirror-smooth surfaces on both sides without any polishing. As the glass ribbon floats along this 150-foot tin bath, it cools gradually and forms the perfect thickness. This process can create glass anywhere from 1 16th of an inch to 3 quarters of an inch thick. The thickness is controlled by electromagnetic fields that stretch or compress the glass ribbon. It's like having invisible hands sculpting the glass as it floats. But cooling too fast would create internal stresses that could cause the glass to explode later. So it enters the annealing tunnel, where it cools just a few degrees per minute over several hours. The tin bath is kept under a protective atmosphere of nitrogen and hydrogen to prevent oxidation. Even a tiny amount of oxygen would ruin the tin surface and create defects in the glass. The tin itself costs $30,000 per ton and must be 99.99% pure, more pure than most medical equipment. Section 6. The Quality Control Gauntlet Before any glass leaves the factory, it faces the ultimate test. Computer scanning systems analyze every square inch, looking for micro-cracks, inclusions, or stress patterns invisible to the human eye. The cutting process uses diamond-tipped blades or lasers that can slice through glass with surgical precision. Each cut must be perfect, there's no room for error when you're making smartphone screens or car windshields. Then comes edge polishing to eliminate sharp edges and safety testing. If the glass doesn't crack in a spiderweb pattern during impact tests, it's rejected. This pattern means it will crumble safely instead of creating dangerous shards. The inspection cameras can detect flaws as small as 0.1 millimeters. That's thinner than a human hair. They photograph every sheet at 1,000 frames per second, using artificial intelligence to identify defects that would take human inspectors hours to find. Any sheet that fails inspection is immediately sent back to the furnace for remelting. Section 7. The Hidden Danger But here's the secret the industry doesn't advertise. Not all glass manufacturing is clean and safe. Older processes and facilities can create toxic waste that threatens entire communities. Some glass manufacturing involves chemicals like PCBS, polychlorinated biphenyls, that are so toxic, a single spill can contaminate soil and water for generations. These chemicals don't break down naturally. 
That's why specialized facilities exist just to safely dismantle old glass manufacturing equipment. Workers in full chemical suits carefully drain toxic oils and dispose of contaminated materials in high-temperature incinerators. Modern facilities have solved these problems with cleaner processes and better safety measures. But the legacy of older manufacturing still haunts the industry. The cleanup of just one contaminated glass facility can cost over $100 million and take decades to complete. Some sites remain toxic exclusion zones where nothing can grow for miles around. This is the dark side of glass manufacturing that the industry desperately wants to forget. Section 8. The Smart Glass Revolution But 2024 has brought a revolution. Smart glass can now change its tint or opacity in response to sunlight, temperature, or even your voice commands. Self-cleaning glass uses nano-coatings that break down dirt automatically. Imagine never having to clean your windows again. And the latest innovation? Glass that generates electricity. Building integrated photovoltaic glass turns every window into a solar panel, generating clean energy while providing transparency. The newest smart glass can even display information directly on its surface, turning any window into a computer screen. Imagine your car windshield showing GPS directions or your office windows displaying real-time data. This technology is already being tested in luxury hotels and high-end office buildings. Section 9. The Global Impact The numbers are staggering. The global glass industry produces over 830 billion glass containers annually. That's more than 100 containers for every person on Earth. But here's the beautiful part. Glass is infinitely recyclable. Every piece of glass can be melted down and reformed without losing quality. It's the ultimate circular economy material. Using recycled glass saves 25% of the energy needed for production and reduces CO2 emissions by 70%. It's not just manufacturing, it's environmental restoration. A single recycled glass bottle saves enough energy to power a 100-watt light bulb for four hours. If every American recycled just one glass bottle, we'd save enough energy to power 25,000 homes for an entire day. Yet incredibly, only 33% of glass containers are actually recycled in the United States. So the next time you look through a window, check your smartphone or drink from a glass bottle. Remember, you're holding the result of explosions, infernos, and industrial precision that transforms worthless sand into one of humanity's most essential materials. From ancient Egyptian accidents to modern smart glass revolution, this $122 billion industry literally shapes how we see the world. But there's one more secret about glass manufacturing that even fewer people know about. The process that creates bulletproof glass strong enough to stop a speeding bullet. If you want to see that incredible process, hit that subscribe button and let me know in the comments. The engineering behind bulletproof glass will blow your mind. And if this video opened your eyes to the hidden world of manufacturing, share it with someone who loves learning about how things are really made. Trust me, they'll thank you for it.